Three, two, one. Hello everyone, Lynx here, back with another Let's Make a Mod video. In this video, we're going to be creating the tools as well as generating our ore into the world. So, the first thing I'm going to be doing is creating the three uh, tools, axe, hammer, and pickaxe. You'll notice that I've got the uh, pickaxe texture in weapons. And this is to help explain an error that some people get. So we're going to start with the pickaxe itself. So we're going to create a new class. Just wait for this to load. Full sight pickaxe. And now we need to just add the usual stuff at the top. I think that's everything we need. So then do public class mod item public override set defaults. And then we're going to have to fill in all this. What I'm going to do is just go from here, just copy all of this just to make life a bit easier. Change the hitbox size to 32 by 32. Get rid of the max stack. Get rid of consumable. Item dot use time item dot yep that's fine okay so the uh I spelt properties wrong there properties there we go so in order to create a pickaxe basically uh all you need to do is do item dot pick equals and then a value that will indicate the level of your pickaxe for example 55 is gold so what I'm going to do is 63 and because a lot of these uh, pickaxes hammers axes can also act as weapons we also need to uh, give some properties for the weapons so I'm just going to do weapon properties we do item dot melee equals true item dot damage we do i don't know 12 item dot knockback i'll do 1.2 f uh what else do we need i think that might be all the damage parts let me just have a look uh yes i think that's it So now we've created a pickaxe, let's create a recipe for it. So do public override add recipes. Mod recipe of, uh, we'll just call it R equals new mod recipe of mod. R dot add ingredient. And we're going to make it similar to the gold pickaxe, which required four of any wood and, uh, 12 of the bars so we're going to do the our bars first so mod content dot item type of full site bar and we can use 12 of those r dot add and this time we can do uh is it a recipe group yes and we're going to do recipe group id dot wood and this will allow us to use any of the woods that exist in the vanilla game or any that have been added to this group but uh we haven't added any so we're able to use normal wood oral uh palm crimson wood corruption wood i can't remember what they're called yeah then uh, r dot add tile tile id dot anvils r dot set result this r dot add recipe and there we go we now have our recipe so with that done we're going to just create the hammer and the axe and what i'll do is i'll just copy and paste all this code let's go copy 
go into class all site x just paste this I'll rename the class from full site x to full site something from full site pickaxe to full site x and down here we're changing x properties which was set to 65 or 64 apparently uh gold also uses 55 as a reference these values can be a bit confusing it's always taken worth taking a look at the uh, wiki for some information and I'll just do something like 3.5 I mean these aren't usually these low but that's fine and let's see what what do you need for an axe it's 9 and 3 so we'll just lower this to 9 that one to 3 okay and there's our simple uh, axe and something else we could do instead of copying the code you can also copy the class paste it okay copy okay did i do what i think i've done well it didn't copy for one let's make sure that's saved okay copied properly that time this time we're going to do hammer and again, we're just replacing hammer. And then we're changing item.x to why am I spelling that wrong? Uh and we'll keep that sixty-five as well. Give it higher knockback that's fine and for hammer that is 10 and 3 this time 10 and 3 so in some cases you might want to create a ham axe or a uh, uh the other combinations you're not limited to just one so if you wanted to create a ham axe for example you can do item dot x 65 and it will also act as a hammer or an axe it's all dependent on what you want then now we've created all those let's create the uh weld generation so you can do add new class call it balls world and up here we're going to need using terraria using terraria dot mod loader using terraria.id using terraria.world.generation using terraria.gamecontent.generation i believe and there's probably something else i don't know what it is uh oh yeah or no or we'll fix it later. Uh, using Microsoft.xna.framework using Microsoft.xna.framework.graphics using system dot collections dot generic and using system dot i. Those are going to be some of the names bases that well the uh, namespace directories we're going to need so we're going to create our public class fools world is going to inherit mod world and the very first thing we need to do is handle how the world is going to generate so what i'm going to do is create a region and we handle generation regions are just used to help organize uh, your code a bit bad if you categorize stuff because th these files can get really long and it can be a pain to find stuff but that's fine because you can hide it all within a region like see here I can minimize the region and it'll tell me what the label is anyway 
public override uh, modify uh, world gen tasks and then we're going to get the uh, index for shinies there are multiple different uh, world generation points I'll provide a link in the description that will say the uh, different stages so you know where stuff spawns you can do int Chinese index equals then you do tasks dot find index and we're going to put gen pass equals less than gen pass oops gen pass dot name dot equals we're going to put in Chinese then we're going to do if Chinese index is not equal to minus one then we're going to do tasks task tasks dot insert at Chinese index plus one a new pass legacy we're going to call this full site uh, actually we'll just call it fools or born and this is going to take in a method so you can write a method inside this task itself but i find it better to create your own uh method outside so i'm going to call this generate fools or then we close off that and as you can see there's a red underline we now need to create that uh method so private void generate fools or and that takes in generation progress progress that one so now what we're going to do is create a for loop that will loop us through the world at a certain number of intervals and it will help us uh generate the order so first of all we can do progress dot message equals that that's what will appear in the world generation then we can do four var i equals zero i is less than and we're going to cast an int then two open brackets double close bracket open another bracket main dot max tiles x multiplied by main dot max tiles y so this is going to get the total area in the world which is dependent on different uh difficulties we'll close that bracket so i'm going to do multiplied by 6e hyphen 0 5 which is if i remember not point not 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 five which will spawn around 330 in a, a small world i think then we're gonna do i plus plus why is that Oh, because it's meant to be a let me go along. There we go. So now we're gonna begin spawning in the or so first we're gonna get an x and y coordinate. So int x equals world gen dot gen rand dot next and we're gonna do from two hundred across domain dot max tiles x minus two hundred int y equals world gen dot gen rand dot next and we're going to do int world gen dot world we'll do world surface low and then we'll do main dot max tiles y minus and we'll do minus 500 
so we've gone from the whole world to create a smaller area that we can create so we're going to create a tile runner which is where we will spawn our code well spawn our all so world gen i'll actually scroll down a bit dot tile runner pass in the x and the y coordinates and our strength is going to be worldgen dot gen ran dot next and we're going to pass in four and seven so strength will uh determines how big it's going to be kind of and then worldgen dot gen man dot next and we'll do three and six for steps then we've got to pass in our uh tile type so do mod content dot tile type and we're going to put in the namespace which is tiles dot full site dot full site all and that's all we need you don't need to worry about the other parameters because they are all optional now this will spawn in the world now if we head on over to tmod loader here you're first going to see an error which will pop up because of the position of our uh pickaxe so we build and reload as you can see it says uh exceptions dot missing resource expert exception expected resource not found items slash full site slash tools slash full site pickaxe closest guess was in items slash full site slash weapons slash full site pickaxe so what this means is you've likely not got the namespace well or you've got the uh namespace correct but uh you've got the texture in the wrong location this is common when people tend to do tiles i've noticed more so if we open up our pickaxe you can see we've got fools mod which is our root folder items which is here full site here and tools it's here this doesn't say weapons so we need to move our full site pickaxe into tools now if we save all jump on back do mod sources build and reload as you can see it loaded that time let's do new world We'll call this world gen one every time you do any world generation code you'll need to create a new world uh the only exception is in if you're pre hard mode and you're doing hard mode generation i won't be covering that until a later episode so keep that in mind so the world spawning I doubt you'll see any of the text saying spawned in the full site or but here we are in the world what i'm going to do is just get a blank potion what's going to go into god mode and Oh, that's actually surprisingly easy. So let's quickly mine down. And as you can see over here, we have our full site ore that spawned into the world. And right, let's get down there. We'll be able to mine it except we can't 
we need a stronger pickaxe. I'll cover what's happened because I don't think I did in the other episode. Let's put the gold pickaxe there. Now we can mine, we get the full sight ore. Keep mining each and every bit. And there we go. We got the uh, full sight ore. Let's head on back over to Visual Studio. And I explain why the full sight ore is taking a while to spawn and why it, uh, a while to uh, mine and its resistance. So I'm pretty sure I didn't cover this in the previous, but if you do a min pick of certain values, like I said before, 55 is gold. That's a minimum pick level that you'll need. And then mine resist is how long it takes to mine. Default is one and that's the general time it takes to mine stuff. So 1.5 is just slightly longer. And there's one final thing we're going to do, and that's look at that localization. So you'll notice that in pretty much every single file I've not bothered doing, public override void set static defaults and given a name. Instead, I've been using a localization file. So what you do is you go uh, add new item go down to text then you change this to the uh, language code so for example British English is en slash gb and then you do dot lang dead and as you can see it's created an empty text file I'm actually going to delete this because we don't need it we're going to use en hyphen us if we open this i've organized this in a way that uh each item is separate all tip separate tile name is separate so here we have the item names as you can see we've got full site or bar axe hammer and pickaxe i did this in the previous attempt at recording this but i messed up somewhere and decided to re-record this so in order to create a uh name for an item you do item dot name then the class name then you do equals then you give it the name you want and whenever uh these are correct the name will appear correctly and for tiles you do map object dot the class name and then the name itself all tips I'll cover in the future, uh, just because there's quite a few different things that you'll know, and hopefully they'll be good. So I think that's covered it, everything I wanted to cover in this episode. So I want to thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and comment down below any ideas you have for the future of this mod. Also, I want to thank each and every one of you for getting me to 3,000 subscribers. It has been really motivating seeing a lot of people enjoying the content. And I'm glad that you have been and there'll be more videos in the future. So until then, thank you everyone for watching and goodbye. <laughs>